Hello, what's up? Ali here again uh, for this amazing news that the Biggie tool set is back. Credits to the other PS3 exploit team for giving us uh, the chance to install CFW again on our PS3 without any hardware modification. And uh, to the friend that shared this uh, news and also tested this himself, which happened to be the best tech that I know. He actually uh, takes care of all of my technical issues uh, that is beyond my control. And you will find his uh, account in our description. So to those who are not yet aware, Biggie Tool said that is the thing that we need to be able to install CFW on our PS3 without any hardware modification. But it only works with a PS3 with model CEC H25 and below. So if you have a PS3 on model CEC H3K and up, especially a PS3 Super Slims, unfortunately you won't be able to install CFW for now. But you can uh, still install hand to be able to get the privilege of having a jailbroken PS3. And you can find the link on our description how to install hand on your PS3. And just a strict disclosure because uh, just like uh, installing any CFW on any uh, console, there is a risk of uh, breaking your unit. I strongly recommend to follow our um, procedure exactly as it is. Uh, do not skip any method or or you are really uh, risking your PS3 to be bricked. And if you are not confident enough, then you can just leave it to a professional. But if you are, then let us proceed on our video. And at the end of this video, I will also share some tips how to get the most of uh, the CFW. So be sure to stick to the end. Uh, all right, so uh, I will assume that you already have uh, installed CFW on your PS3. If not yet, then please go ahead and check our other videos, how to install hand using the alternate host or the how to install hand using the alternate alternate host in case the alternate host happens to be not working and if you are already using hand just like what we have here right now then we can go ahead and proceed on our video so first let us have our usb plugged into our psd because we are going to dump our flash and this is very important because if something happens we need the original flash to be able to restore our ps3 and uh, to make sure that our ps3 is recognizing our usb you should see the USB icon here or either on the video, music, or the photo. So if you don't see any USB device here, that means that your USB is not being detected. So uh, you can uh, either reformat that to FAT32 or just yes, use a different home drive or external hard drive. So once you have a USB prepared, you can go now to our internet browser and do the following. Right, so press triangle, then go to tools, confirm browser close, set to off. Now to tools, home page, use blank, then OK, then back to tools again, then delete cookies, delete search history, delete cache, and uh, delete authentication information. Now let us close the window. Now once we have taken care of the browser, we have to make sure that we have a, a proper internet connection. So let us go to the network settings, go to the internet connection settings and uh, choose whatever method you are using. But in my case, uh, I'm going to use a wired connection. Just uh, choose on easy. By the way, it is very advisable to use a wired connection every time you're doing some, uh, um, some stuff on your PS3 that requires uh, being connected to any web host. And also run an internet connection test to make sure that you are properly connected to the internet. And if you are using a specific DNS, uh, always uh, turn it back to default. Because of the other procedure that allows you to access the Biggie tool set that requires a specific DNS settings no longer works. So you have to make sure that all of your internet settings is set to default. Now once you have uh, succeeded uh, in testing your internet connection, you can go back now to the internet browser and enter the following address. So press start. So make sure you have uh, the address uh, exactly correct, all right? You don't have uh, to add the www or the http colon slash slash. You can go ahead and proceed to the exact address. Now press start. If you're getting an error here, that means uh, that you have uh, some uh, issues with your internet connection. Make sure that you have done exactly like we have, what we have showed you. Now, once you have seen this message, you just uh, press on yes. And once you are here, wait for the message or for the beep that uh, will come from the PS3. That will uh, here. That means that our PS3 is ready. 
Now, if you see some error message here on the upper right part of the screen, that means that your PS3 is not ready for the jailbreak there. So that means that the BG toolset has uh, caged uh, successfully on our PS3 and we are set to go. Now, just for, uh, just for another verification, click here on the tab here. By the way, since uh, this comes from a different PS3 exploit and there is a uh, no um, translation you have uh, to make sure that you follow exactly what i do so i will be very careful on this one as well and so click on the middle tab and there will be another verification and we should wait for that there you should see here the uh, ps3 uh, compatibility has a green check so if you have a cross sign that means that your ps3 is not compatible Right. So uh, if you have entered the address and you see some errors on the upper right part of the screen, that means that your PS3 is not yet ready. If you found uh, if you have some error messages, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to translate that. But uh, if you found any error messages, you will definitely uh, be able uh, to uh, recognize that you just have to reinstall your hybrid firmware. All right. So just uh, reinstall your hybrid firmware and try again now once uh, everything has been cached and you have heard the beep um click on the uh, middle tab and you should see here the green check if not that means that your ps3 is not compatible for the jailbreak all right so uh, once we have the go signal here so let us uh, click here on the first tab or on the first option so i will uh, make sure that you can properly see this one <laughs> So uh, press OK on your controller and click this one, the one that pops up. This will save our dump. The, again, this is very important because if something happens on your PS3, we need the original dump for us to be able to restore our PS3 back. Unfortunately, this can only be done by a professional, but uh, professional or not, if you don't have the original dump, uh, there is nothing uh, you can do to restore your PS3. So you have to be very careful on this uh, to make sure you have the original dump of your PS3. Now, um, here you are being asked where to save the dump. So since we already have the USB, let us go ahead and click the USB here and click this one, the left uh, option. This will save the dump on our USB. So let us just wait for uh, the PS to dump our image or to dump our hex file. Now, once we have our hex file, we can go ahead and check this dump to see if uh, our PS3 is good for the CFW. Again, there will be a lot of verification you have to go through to be able to uh, successfully install the CFW. So let us proceed to our PC. But before we do that, uh, let us uh, also uh, download all of the files we need uh, to prepare for the jailbreak. On our description, you will find all of the links that you will need for this video. But uh, just another disclosure, uh, before you install any firmware on your PS3, you have uh, to check if your PS3 has a working Bluetooth, otherwise you'll run into another problem. So we have actually a separate video, so you'll get a, uh, a deeper look on this risk that uh, you may encounter if you install uh, any firmware on your PS3 if it has uh, an existing issue with its Bluetooth. So uh, if you don't have any issues at all, so just click on this area to download the file and uh, click on download. Now this is the file that we are going to use uh, to check our dump if it's okay already for the CFW. Just open the link and uh, click on the code and uh, download zip. Alright, so since I already have it here, I will just go ahead and cancel. And uh, for the Multiman, let us go ahead and open the link. Click on this area to download the latest uh, version. Let us just go ahead and save them uh, on the same folder. And uh, for the bonus that I have uh, mentioned earlier, it is the Webman. Let us uh, just open the link and uh, click on this area to download the latest version. Again, let us go ahead and save them on the same folder. Now back to our dump file, let us uh, open our file checker or our dump checker. So we have it here. So let us just uh, extract it here on the same folder. And on the extracted folder, open this one and we have another file ready to be extracted. So again, extract it here on the same folder. And here you will have the bat file. 
now let us go back uh, where we have uh, saved our original dump so in our case we have saved it here on uh, this usb so again you have to make sure you have uh, the exact copy of your original dump file so uh, in my case i will just create a folder here and i will name it original and from here i will copy this one and paste it here inside our file checker now let's go back a folder and drag and drop this uh, dump hex file into this bat file here and here the uh, system will check our dump if you get some two errors with the, the ROS0 and ROS1 that is still okay you can uh, proceed uh, with uh, the CFW but if you got some uh, further issues uh, with any of uh, the checks here then you will have uh, to uh, have uh, your PS3 checked by a professional before you can install any CFW again uh, you should run a check on your dump file and everything must be okay or green or at least two yellow on the ROS1 and ROS0 otherwise you cannot proceed uh, on this video so uh, you can just uh, install HEN or bring your uh, PS3 to a professional to have it checked and uh, have them install CFW on your PS3 instead. So since uh, we have a green here, that means we are a go to install the CFW. Just have the copy of your dump uh, secured. So in case anything happens, uh, you still have your original dump file and uh, you can still restore your PS3. Before we go back to the PS3, let us prepare some other stuff uh, first. Uh, first, our multiman and our webman, we have uh, to uh, transfer them uh, uh, to our usb in my case since i have a different usb for my cfw need so i will go ahead and transfer that on that usb instead and now for our cfw we have to create a folder naming ps3 all capitalized then inside the ps3 folder create a folder update again all capitalized now inside the folder update we are going to copy here the file that we have just um, downloaded and uh, since i already have it here i can just leave it here and we can now proceed and go back to our ps3 back on our ps3 let us go ahead and plug in our usb and make sure that our ps3 recognizes our usb and to check that uh, we can go back to the video set uh, to the video and the music part or the photo part and you should see here the usb icon if not then uh, again use a different usb or use the same usb that you have uh, used uh, to uh, copy our dump files now back to our bg tool set go to the bottom area of the same tab here okay this one then uh, click ok on this one and uh, choose the second option the one that ends with https this will download the file needed to patch our ps3 so uh, this may take some uh, few seconds so let us just uh, wait uh, for it to finish and you have to make sure that you don't interrupt the process all right okay so once uh, the file has been downloaded you will see here the green check so you can uh, just uh, press ok the right option here we can go back on this part then uh, choose the bottom option this will apply the patch all right so uh, again you have to be very careful on the option that you choose so, since there is uh, no translation on this one you have uh, to carefully compare the tools that i'm uh, using and the tools that you are using this will apply the patch i will have another disclosure on this one so uh, this is uh, the part where you can do this at your own risk all right so uh, in our case let us go ahead and proceed with our patch so this is another warning okay <laughs> if you want to proceed or not that is why it is defaulted on the no on the left side but if you are confident enough then just uh, pick uh, the right option that is yes and uh, this may take a few minutes again uh, you cannot interrupt your ps3 while applying the patch uh, let us just wait for this whole process to complete
All right. So once you see this message, that means the whole patch is uh, done successfully. So uh, we can now reboot our PS3 and uh, install our CFW. Now, after you reboot your PS3 and you have uh, some issues or you encounter some issues with the installation of uh, the CFW, you can uh, just uh, reinstall your CFW on safe mode. So uh, let us first try uh, rebooting our PS3. After the PS3 starts, you can go ahead and go to the system update and update your PS3 using our CFW. So you can see here the PS3 detects our evil nut firmware which is our CFW. But uh, just uh, some reminder, in case you are from the official firmware, you don't need to install HEN after installing uh, the hybrid firmware. Just install HFW and uh, you can go ahead and do the stuff that we have done on this video to install the CFW. So for now, let us go ahead and uh, install our CFW. Now after the PS3 restarts, congratulations, you are now back to CFW. So uh, you can go ahead and proceed installing all your homebrews uh, and enjoy your jailbreak without the hassle of activating your jailbreak every time you use them. To those who are not yet aware of the uh, differences between the CFW and HEN, though they are both a uh, soft mod means that you don't have to do some hardware modification to install jailbreak hen is just a partial jailbreak where you have to activate your hen first before you can run some homebrews while on cfw it stands for custom firmware this is the complete jailbreak and you don't have uh, to uh, activate anything as soon as uh, you open your ps3 and your custom firmware is up and running so let us go ahead and uh, install some uh, homebrews on our ps3 and now for the extra stuff that I was uh, talking uh, earlier, that is our webman. So since I already have installed a webman earlier, so uh, why is uh, this important if you have a CFW? Well, a uh, webman adds a lot of extra stuff on our PS3 on top of having to control the fun of your PS3. And to be able to adjust your control fan, go to the webman setup and go to the uh, PS3 webman setup. Here you can adjust the fan of your PS3. I usually use uh, the automatic at 68. Then you click on save. And uh, with the webman, uh, you'll have access to your PS3, PS1, and PS2 games uh, without uh, going into the uh, multi-man. And also with webman, you'll have uh, some extra access or extra um, commands on your ps3 so um, this is it for our video so in case you had some questions or issues that you encountered regarding the same topic so uh, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and if you found this uh, video helpful please uh, do like and subscribe so that i can continue creating these kinds of videos and see you on the next one Bye bye